the medical scientists who directed human experimentation were quickly returned to Japan. After the war, they were never prosecuted for engaging in those activities. The American forces that occupied Japan granted immunity to members of Unit 731 in exchange for obtaining scientific data from the human experiments. Shozo Toda, who is believed to have sent many of his colleagues to the unit, became president of Kanazawa University. While never discussing his involvement with Unit 731, he became a leading figure in medical science circles. Kanao Tabei, who developed bombs for delivering typhoid germs, became a full professor at Kyoto University and an authority in bacteriology. The scientist who researched the nature of frostbite, Hisato Yoshimura, also became a professor. Throughout his life, he continued to assert, I did not conduct inhumane experiments. Within the military, I researched the question of how we could protect soldiers from frostbite and freezing to death, following orders from the unit leader. I never lost my conscience or turned into a devil. Those who were involved maintained their silence, and the existence of Unit 731 became a taboo subject. Today, 72 years later, that history is taking on renewed relevance in Japan. The Science Council of Japan has a long-standing policy that scientists will not engage in research for military purposes. However, a rapid increase in research funding from the Ministry of Defense has sparked debate over whether this prohibition should be relaxed. At this meeting, the history of Unit 731 and the development of the atomic bomb were cited as two examples where science was used for questionable ends. The history of Unit 731 raises questions not only for scientists, but for each of us as well. It presents the reality of how our country, in pushing forward on the road to war, crossed lines that as humans, we ought never to cross.